Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 51 and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at styling forms and by styling forms I'm not talking about different forms of styling, no no no, I am talking about how to style our form elements because we have not done that yet and that is something we're going to have to look at over the course of the next few tutorials. So, um, what I've got here is a form and I've actually uh, populated my form or given my form a whole bunch of elements before we started but don't worry they're not uh, like extreme it's not going to be extremely difficult for you guys to understand um, it's basically just uh, a whole bunch of labels with some input types of text so it wouldn't take you guys long to copy but it's also um, not going to take, I'll also provide a link where you guys can just download the code or something. Uh, so, um, let's go ahead and actually uh, take a look at this and you can see I've uh, started a paragraph tag and then I've had my label for first name. Then I've also put in my input uh, type of text for my first name and I ended that paragraph off and basically you can copy that code and paste it down a few times for each of these um, fields over here. So we've got one for last name, email, city, address line one and address line two. They're pretty much all the same, uh, just with unique names and unique IDs for each one. Okay, so um, that's pretty much the end result in the browser. But what we really need to do now is uh, style this so that all these input elements actually appear nice and in line um, or nice and lined up next to each other. Uh, right now seeing them like in this little wave kind of pattern looks kind of untidy and ugly in my opinion. So we're going to fix that uh, with some styling rules. Now. Uh, I've got some labels in this field set over here, uh, this personal info field set, but we also have another field set at the bottom here with hobbies that also has um, labels for the check boxes. And I don't want to accidentally style any of these labels for the check boxes because as you can see, the check boxes all seem to look just fine. Um, so we're going to go back over to. Uh, our notepad plus plus over here and I'm gonna grab this field set that has or that has the legend of a personal info and I'm just gonna give this a class so class of uh, personal underscore info and we might as well just co copy that now save this go over to CSS and select that class now, I don't actually want to select this class, but what I do want to select is all the labels inside of the field set with this class. And uh, to do that, we can go ahead now and just leave a space over here and type in the word label. And that's going to select all the label elements inside of this personal info class. Okay, and what we're going to do here is just give each one of those labels a fixed width and I'm also going to float them to the left. So float left and I'll give it a width of 100, uh, 100 pixels. Okay and what this should do is make all of these labels the same width. So when I click refresh you can see all of our labels now have the same width which means that all of these uh, input text boxes over here all appear in line so um, you know they're all nice and lined up it looks a lot more tidy and uh, something else we could do here is um, just give this a margin or even uh, align our text to the right now I prefer having my text aligned to the left I think this looks good uh, just the way it is but some people like to uh, go text align right and I'll show you what um, effect this gives you but it basically means that all of the labels appear 
um, next to our elements and then you've got this wide open space over here which I I prefer to have it actually aligned to the left and then you don't have that wide open space um, but if you're ever gonna align your your um, labels to the right like this you might want to just give yourself a margin as well so margin um, right and we might just give that a margin of 10 pixels just to add that extra little bit of space so when I click refresh we now have uh, that space over there okay but like I said I uh, I prefer having my text aligned on the left it just for me in my opinion looks better that way and something else we could do here is maybe just uh, go over to our CSS file and select all of our field sets and uh, just make them a little bit um, thinner as it were because right now if we take a look at this our field sets uh, take up the entire width of the browser but our data inside of here I'd say isn't even wider than 300 pixels 320 pixels so we might as well go over to our field sets and then just give these a width of 320 pixels and um, that should make the actual field sets just a, a lot smaller and in fact it could probably be even smaller than that so let's make it uh, 300 and um, you know that that probably looks a lot better now just uh, you know uh, just so that we don't have any of that like really unnecessary space all along the side okay and uh, obviously you would put this um, these field sets or this form inside of another element that you could use to center it in the middle of the page or something like that but I have already made a tutorial on that so if you guys want to learn how to do that uh, look back to the previous tutorials and you will see how to center uh, parts of your web page okay something else we could do uh, if we really decided or deemed it necessary is to give uh, our field sets some background color so background color and we could get a like a very light blue color so um, I've got I've got uh, this file over here or this color over here I actually had to pause and just go over to Photoshop and select a color and when we go over to Firefox now and click refresh we have this uh, really light blue background um, and that can probably help you guys just to uh, create a different look between the background of the normal website and the background of your form and obviously uh, something else we could do that might improve this a little bit more is um, to actually make our header or our <laughs> um, uh, field set legend uh, bolded so we can grab all of the legends inside of our field set by typing field set legend like that and then we can go ahead and just say font weight uh, bold and that should bold the um, the actual characters so uh, it definitely looks a little bit better bolded although it is kind of weird having half of it appear on the white and half of it appear on the blue so uh, maybe uh, changing the background color wasn't such a great idea after all um, <laughs> we can go ahead and maybe actually get rid of that background color then and actually see what this looks like it's probably gonna look so much better yeah okay <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys in this video and as always don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys in the next one.